Hello there and welcome to Fairyland Cottage and thanks very much for joining me here today for the fourth video of 2021. So I thought we've been doing a lot of cleaning and I thought I'd share with you a few tips, things that I've been doing during the week to reduce the visual clutter. So I've been doing a lot of deep cleaning, a lot of tidying, and yet sometimes there can still be visual clutter. So I thought it was a rainy day, best opportunity to get stuck in. And I'm going to start with all the chargers. I usually have them either plugged into the kitchen, randomly in the bedroom or the living room, and they always just look so messy. So I wanted to consolidate it all to one place, preferably in a drawer. So we have this cabinet. It's just when you come inside the house and the drawer was not being used for anything. So it was the perfect opportunity. All you need to have is a plug socket on the wall close to the drawer you're gonna use. And one of those cables that has many plug sockets on it. All you need to do, we're gonna drill a hole in the back. So we need to take the plug off first. Really simple. You just need a simple, small hole, big enough for the cable to go through. And then you put all the plug sockets into the drawer. And of course, this is a tiny drawer, but if you had a bigger one, you could have even more, which is even better. And taking the plug on and off got me reminiscing about my time, my grandfather, when he, we used to sit at the dining room table and he used to teach me how to take a plug off, save it for use at a later date. And he never wasted a single thing. I also love the fact that I'm charging everything as far away from where I sleep. I like to charge a lot of things at night time. And so it's just as far away from the bed as possible. And also we try and get as many things that are rechargeable rather than battery operated. And then of course buy pretty much 99% of our electronics secondhand. So I just love how all those messy wires are just hidden away in that drawer. And then I use baskets to put things like handbags and hats and scarves. And then underneath I keep a basket with all things I'm gonna to bring to the charity shop when they're open again. Another way I like to reduce visual clutter is using objects that are for practical reasons, but trying to make them look visually aesthetic. So placing the logs up beside the stove in a wicker basket and the bags that we carry the logs, we use these every day. So just a simple little lidded box or basket where you can pop them in. They're old and they're ragged, but they still work perfectly. And then it just creates less clutter on the eyes. The other thing for less visual clutter is things that I need to use all the time, like dustpan and brush, just having them natural materials. And anything that you can see that you don't really need, I'm gonna use this tin box for something else in the shed. The next thing I have for reducing visual clutter is to always put things into trays. It just places everything together and seems to make everything look tidier. And the other little tip I remember reading years ago was have everything in threes. Our eyes prefer to look at it and then it can look that fourth thing and it just looks like it's too much clutter. And the same in the kitchen, if there's areas of things, so these are jars for coffee and teas. And instead of just having them there on the counter, when you just pop them into a box or basket, it just makes everything look a lot less cluttered, even though it's the same amount of objects. 
and also with things like these are our wipes, just placing them in a nice box instead of just having all the wipes there on the countertop. Just seems to all make it just a lot tidier looking. The next tip I have for reducing visual clutter is to keep the colours, especially if you have an open plan house, all as neutral as possible or the same colour palette. So in our house everything is beige and cream and white and brown. And I've had this blanket stored away for about two decades. So it's finally seeing the light of day and I knew it would be used sometime, but I, all I had to do was just take off the pins, pop it underneath, I didn't even have to sew anything and just place the pins back in. So it was really quick and easy. And again, when you're looking at something, even though this is something we use for meditation in the morning, so it's out all the time and it's just nice to place it under the coffee table but your eye isn't drawn to the colour blue, it just seems to blend in with everything else because it's its neutral colour. And again, similar, keeping a neutral colour. We don't have a TV but our computer is our TV really. And so it's just best to just put it into a box or a basket, something neutral. We've loads of cables. And then it just reduces all that visual clutter. And with everything, keeping it neutral, this sofa isn't very comfortable. So we need cushions to be able to make it comfy when we're sitting on it. But just keeping everything as clean as possible, least amount of possible you need. And again, keeping everything similar colors. I love to do crochet and I'm always doing it a lot so I like to keep a basket nearby with all the wool but it's loads of different colours and because it's an open plan house your eye is drawn to too many colours and it looks more clutter than it is. So just a simple neutral colour just popped over, this is just like a tea towel, just popped over to make it look all the same. The next one is just keeping the countertops clear. It's quite a simple standard one, I know I've said it before, you just pop everything into a drawer and then collect everything in baskets and just put it back where they need to be. And the same with beside the bed, if there's any creams or anything you need, you just pop it into a basket. It's always best to have ones with lids. So you're not really getting rid of much things because they could be stuff that you actually use, but you're just making it look a lot less cluttered. So I think it's great for people who aren't naturally tidy like myself to just be able to have a tidier home. So let me know if you have any other ideas of how to reduce visual clutter. I'd love to know. Chat below as always or over on Instagram. And thanks a mil for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next video.